Our therapy center is in essence a freestanding rehabilitation center. Developing this speech therapy program opened new avenues for families with children with multiple needs. Speech therapy is helping people to communicate their wants and needs. There's all different ways to facilitate language, so we kind of take that all-encompassing to help people to get their voice. Speech therapy is the perfect complement to our existing therapy services, those being physical therapy and occupational therapy. With the diagnosis that we treat, the need for the speech therapy was there on an ongoing basis. We might work with someone who might not be able to understand language, whether that be a child who's having difficulty developing verbal language, to help them to express, to put words together, to use those words functionally. For the children who can't speak at all, who may require an augmentative or alternative communication device, the speech is a no-brainer. But there's programs where occupational therapy and speech has some overlap. They're learning each other's roles and how they can complement each other. I think it's fabulous that we have that whole therapist approach so that I get to work directly with the OTs and the PTs and really make it individualized. I think that's really helped me as a therapist be able to see the child as a whole and not just speech. We knew that in order to provide the full complement of services, we needed to add speech to the physical and occupational therapy so that we could be a one-stop shop for parents. Sophie um, never talked as a baby. She just started talking last year when she turned six. She needed OT and PT. So they said, we'll send you to um, Shriners because they have all three. Sophia has verbal apraxia. She might not be able to say hi if you ask her to say hi volitionally, but she can say it um, involuntarily. Her brain is still working, but just her mouth isn't quite functioning the way it should. Um, she just started making babbling noises. She just can't get the whole words out yet. Sophie, can you help spell your name? S S O P H I N A A A. We're working on saying mama, papa, baba, dada. Um, and then we will transition to changing those syllables. Daddy, mommy. Her words started coming, they're a little bit longer, a little bit more enunciated, and she's just really, she can tell that you understand her, so she's excited. For the children to be able to break out and communicate with their families, it lets you know what they're thinking. It completes the individual. Okay. Children can get frustrated when they can't be understood and they can't express themselves. We, like most people, thought speech was primarily just pronunciation. Um, but we learned that there was a lot of cognitive processing that goes along with speech, and that was what Olivia really needed. Hearing is completely fine, but sometimes she has difficulty taking the information and holding on to it and then using it. So we've been working a lot with auditory memory sequencing. The iPad technology is making it so much better for these children with these deficits today. It's just making it easier for these children to communicate. She was able to, to find um, more confidence in the classroom and her teachers were able to see um, some progress um, really right away. I learned that to memorize things, uh, that to try to sort stuff out, yeah. and, and to draw stuff to memorize. Good job. That's awesome. It's cool to be able to work with other people all in the same focus to be able to help the child. You get to work with development in general and then you kind of get to foster that and really see the child for them and just give them the tools they need. The future of our program is to grow. By adding more therapists to the mix, we can now further develop in multiple areas under the speech therapy umbrella so that we can further become the best at what we do. Thank you.